another cello player called John Cottle. He was a really cool guy and everything, but he just, uh, it was a time thing. We really needed to focus on doing what we got to do. And to be honest, I think we can do what we can do with the lineup that we have now. And, you know, I mean, Raven's adding all his ideas. And to be honest, it's, it's just so much, it's, it's, it's growing more now and it, it's just easier to play. It's very, very that's, that's, that's what happened with that. We had a change around with the a while ago. Now I've had a change around the channel for why I need and like every time we get a new member or something different happens to the, the lineup and such, the material kind of has to change with it. You know what I mean? Or it kind of just becomes a bit like a session musician. Yeah, everyone has to make their individual stand on yeah, whatever you know what I mean? it is. So, you know, that's where we're at now. And we're going to release a single. All I can that's say really on that fact because right. it was like it, it's you know to be honest it's, 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 it's running under certain other masks. The fact of the matter is us as a band we're all about uh, the band first before, before anything else and cliqueism and collectives and all of that don't really work in our on, on that page as a band so any group really you know and that 12 ton is an example of that it didn't really work and it don't work. Yeah. It's a lovely, beautiful idea if these things That's go what I'll say about it. If they haven't got the right motive behind them, and if, if things are, you know, just other things dressed up as other things, you know, things aren't going to work like that. It, it's, it's all well and good to have these ideals, but at the minute, my ideal is being in the band that I can trust and work with and move forward with. And it's just about the music for me. That's something that's ever been about. I'm not going to let my vote be wasted, but at the end of the day, most of the time in politics in this country, it's just, it's just a, a laughing stock, really, anyway. It's just a bunch of rich keys are just up the road, just not really understanding what goes on. And I actually met someone's press team the other day in a pub and had a very, very good uh, conversation about the, the way of British politics and how it hasn't really changed and how it will just be the same as it is. And it's, a, it's a majority kind of pitch, really. You know, I can't, I can't say too many positive things about stuff that's happened in the last 10 years in this country and over abroad because of this country. But, you know, it's just politics at the end of the day, isn't it? I'm not going to vote, but that's, that's a lot of, you know, what, however you're... Like, I was talking to my mate, he's like, brought up a certain way and whatever. I suppose it affects how you, where you were brought up, how you view the government, how you've been treated as a person, as to whether you're going to vote or if you've lost all thing or if you're anti gov all those things I think it comes down to like how you how you feel in this thing, you know, like which is really you know, which is much more important like music, you know, that's that's the personal you know, but I can't I, I, I'm not gonna vote. I'm just I'm just saying that's my take on it, I'm not gonna vote because I can't even fathom what the fuck's going on. composed 
uh, a film school, a uh, Baroque uh, film school, okay, which is gone, and then we, we're working on a new thing, a new film that's based around hidden cat, well, uh, CCTV cameras with emotions. And then we're going to be doing a third film uh, scoring at the BFI. It's uh, a film called Borderline from 1930. It was a Paul Robeson film. It was uh, did the soundtrack of our, uh, what was it, 10 years? I don't, know, I don't know when it was, it's about a few years ago. Brilliant soundtrack. You've got a lot of, got a lot of things to get out on the last one. I think people get caught up in the ego and the image of whatever they're doing, do you know what I mean? Rather than realising it's just making a bunch of noise, your mates. Hey, it's going to make some noise, your mates. And if you go like that, you're just going to have fun. Watching documentaries about like Lev Zeppelin mm. and like, do you know what I mean? Sun Ra. Yeah. And um, just music documentaries, that's all I really watch. I watch a lot of like yeah, natural history documentaries as well, a lot of all, all sorts of documentaries, and also a lot of Ted Live. I did this last time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's watch a, watch a documentary a day, keep it going, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll watch anything. Like, whatever, whatever, if there's something on or if there's something I've got, I've watched or something. I, love, I just love films. I watch that Tyson book. Yeah, yeah. It's heavy. Uh, yeah, just any films. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> it's not a film. It's a film, like, really. Sweet for Marju, yeah. Um, Sun Ra Um, oh, there's too many, too many names to mention. The Pharaoh Sanders, Village of the Pharaoh, yeah, Pharaoh Sanders, and then Humala, Humala as well. Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, yeah, again, Led Zeppelin, man. Sorry, but Led Zeppelin are fucking brilliant. <laughs> I'm just going to say that yeah. straight, I don't care. Yeah. There's a band called Trio VD that I've been trying to find recordings of, but I can't find them. Okay. I've been watching their videos loads. Like, yeah, it's just the same video. Like, don't download no torrents. <laughs> <laughs> it's a speaker's corner quartet for code emphasis. Bigger, bigger. Yeah. Yeah. 